seven. <laughs> Look what I just found. What is it? She come here. Is that a scooter? Bro, it's in the trash <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> no, it ain't. You just found this out here? Yeah. You know that saying? One's man trash, someone else's treasure. There's no way it runs. <laughs> it's even got the hood. No shot. Imagine. No, but we gotta make this work for real. Needs a little jump start. It's gotta be something stupid. Oh, look at this. Well, what is that? Is that a ground? Yeah. Is that just a main plug? Oh yeah, because it goes here. Bro. To the battery. If you plug that in I and it works. I swear to God if this works. Fire that drawing out right now. <laughs> Damn. You think the batteries are dead? I mean, who would throw away a perfectly good scooter? Especially something this sweet. Can we get like a car battery and jump it? No. Hold the camera. I got an idea. Milwaukee. Get this shit out. If this works, what are you doing? I'm, we're going through the Wendy's <laughs> drive thru again. This is certified ripper. Oh, holy Did shit. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. How do we get it to move? It sounds like a laser gun. I think there's only one option. This isn't the dumbest thing I've ever done. It definitely isn't the smartest. It's up there. Happy Halloween, boys. Why is dressing up as a dead man? 85 energy drink. Use code Wyatt. Oh, let's do this thing. I told you we get that scooter running. Back where it belongs. So since the last video, when I dyed my interior red on the F30, there was a lot of questions concerning like if the dye will rub off on your clothes. It doesn't. I don't know why people think I would put on something on my seat to rub off on my clothes, but it's been on my 335 for four years and it's been on this car for two weeks. Nothing, nothing rubs off or cracks or anything like that. Another concern for a lot of people was if the seats got wet, wouldn't it just rub off? No red. Even if it were to thunderstorm inside of your car, no red, just wet. Hopefully that proves to you guys I just sprayed a power washer inside my car, so no, the dye will not rub off. Go to the track tonight, see what this old girl does. I haven't taken it there on the big turbo setup. The last time I took there was stage two plus and it ran like a 13, so it was so bad, honestly. I was not happy about it. Ran a 13 at 107. What is going on? But we have port injection, we have the flex fuel set up. All the links to these are gonna be in the description. It's like three o'clock right now. We're supposed to be at the track by five, which means I have to hurry up and install this. After disconnecting like nine million things, the intake manifold is off. This is a whole lot different than M54. because There's the intercooler inside there because it's water to air. But fortunately enough, I'm just that guy and I was able to figure it all out by myself. So, yo chill. That wasn't, were you watching that? That wasn't me. I don't know who put that there. Now, as you can see, the intake valve's wide open. This port injection plate just goes right there. Something like that. I gotta get back to my video. I work hard, but hard shit don't need no extra work. That's why I show up in a sweat shirt and let it burn. Port injection and flex fuel center is now on there. Very hard to see, but I have the 360 fittings from Precision. I have the Continental ethanol sensor, and I have the reflex motive harness, so that way it'll plug straight into my reflex right here. Then I have the Precision port injection plate on there with 750cc injectors. And Chris just sent over the new E85 port injection tune, so I'm trying to figure out how to put that on right now. It still works. I'm just smiling at the turbo. What'd you know about that? I know a lot about that hiccup that it had when it started. <laughs> oh, yeah? And my like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, just wait. Yeah. Just wait. Yeah, who did that? Who did that? Who put Jamie out on my brand new B58? Look, I work on Japanese vehicles, so I didn't know the bleeder valve supposed to leak out the bleeder. Japanese vehicles? I, I'm a Toyota man. I, I work at Toyota, all right? <laughs> That's just a little side gig I'm doing. We're on the way to the track right now. We're running super late per usual. The latest you can enter the track to still race is nine o'clock and my GPS says that we'll get there at 9.02. So that's great. Nine o'clock. We always hit buzzer beams out here on time. How's it going? Is there still racing going on? Are you watching or racing? Racing. Put your damn on. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> we made it last minute. Every time I pull up to the window with this car, they're like, are you racing? Because I'll base model. You they don't know. Them. They don't know about it. Seven miles till E. Perfect. 
I didn't mean to fill it. I got distracted. Just a little bit of extra weight. Not to it. This is my first time ever messing with Reflex, so honestly, I have no idea what I was doing. I put 85 in the car and did a little hit, and it broke up real bad. So now, hopefully, it's going to work. Seven just flashed on the right tune, hopefully. So I'm going to go try it again before I go out there. Hopefully, we see him off an eight second pass. You know what I'm saying? Little, Man, you tripping. A little eight second pass. All right, I just tested the car. It's working again. So now I'm going to go tech in. There's only like 15 minutes left in racing, but the car is working now. I'm just an idiot. You ready to see the block shake? We going 11 4 or 10 9? We're going 10 flat. Just do a soft launch, kind of ease into it, and do like a probably like a third gear pull. Like get up to third quick, but kind of don't want you flooring it in first on a brand new tune and you just figured out your fueling issue. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Third time bringing the car to the track. The last time we were on stage two MHD. Let's pray for my drive shaft. <laughs> That's a good trap. He's got to get six foot down, though. I like that. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that felt insane. Hit 27 pounds right there. I feel like it was breaking up just a little bit, but this is the very first tune on port injection E85. It could be like a slight, we got to tweak the tuning a little bit, send over a couple revisions, but it really picked up in fourth gear, like whore. But we got to pass it. I really thought we were done. I was down bad. I was crying. That's real cute. You love the eye out there. We only got 10 minutes left of racing. We're hot lapping this bitch. An 11-4. An 11-4. Yes, sir. Yeah, she did all right. She did all right. Damn, son. That felt good. My 60 foot trash, but we have a big turbo, so that makes sense. And I trapped 130 miles an hour. I'm not mad about that. I'm not mad at all. I'm about to go hit the motherfucker bar tonight over that that's the fastest quarter mile time i ran in my life now i know i'm gonna get a lot of comments you're like yo i got this set up and i ran this hey i don't care i'm happy about my 11.4 so let me be happy about my 11.4 don't worry about the light brake yeah. boost it right, you man. are barely brake boosting like as hard as you can right, e-brake if you need to I told him not to worry about the light but he lined up with a mustang so he's gonna worry all the way about the light here we go again <laughs> That's a large mouth. Yeah, buddy. I don't even have to clear no codes. P58 shit. What y'all know about it? We got 11 4 again. Consistency, baby. That's what it's all about. Could have probably break boosted harder, and Stefan's probably gonna make fun of me for it, but I'm a young lad trying a new trick. I don't know what that means. I'm just excited. Going on the fridge. My parents gonna be proud of me. Put it right on the fridge. Magnet, right next to the milk. Wake every morning. 11-4. Why it's scared of it. Big scared. He does not want to brake boost that thing. I told him, get up there. Don't worry about the green. Put your brake through the floorboard. Send spool that, that little ass baby turbo up and launch it. Were you wondering what time it was? 11-4. <laughs> it was 11-4. Y'all see me reel that green Mustang in? I said. Large mouth. We want to know why you scared of it. What am I scared of? That lawn. See, look, I told the GoPro, I said, Stefan's going to make fun of me. Dude, level four. I don't give a motherfucker. The drink's on me. That is so sick. With this Valvetronic exhaust, I haven't really talked about it too much, but when it's in comfort mode, it's quiet. And then when you go to sport, it opens up the valve in the back, so it's loud. And it burbles a little bit. But then, when you're in comfort mode, on a little sneaky link move, no burble. So at the track, I was only launching at like 2,000 RPMs or 2,500. So I was being a little baby about it. But I think that's 3K. And 
it spins on four tires on the street. That bitch moves. So the tune is set to 25 pounds. And I don't know why, but every time I post anything about this car, everyone's like, get the XHP trans tune. I already have it. I did that like the second week I had this car. Stock trans for now. That shit's gonna start slipping any minute now. So in order to turn up probably even more, I need to get a built trans realistically. And these Gen 1 B58s only hold about 650 to 700 horsepower. Kind of like an M54. I feel like I'm right at the limit of how fast this car can go before I either blow the motor or the trans just keeps on slipping. But it feels pretty fast for how it is right now people have been wanting to update on the shop right now this is supposed to be like our waiting room it's just travis's ls parts at the moment and then a, a secret ls we can't talk about in here is a complete mess at the moment because we're in the mix of like moving a bunch of shit around and it's getting cold outside so we're praying that this heater works i don't know how any of this shit works i like oh there's a bunch of switches for this thing it makes no sense and it blows Straight cold air at the moment. We got a fridge and our lovely neighbors gave us this about two weeks ago and this shit's probably gonna smell like ass. It's, ooh. Nah, that's actually really bad. If you guys don't remember when we first got this shop, this was dead ass, just like a flat, it looked like a deck pretty much. But now Mason's been putting up walls and doing all that like construction guy shit that I don't really know anything about. This room is almost done. It's pretty much just gonna have a couch, a TV, and we might even do a podcast. That's what we're all thinking. Let me know if you guys would like to hear us dumbasses talk for like an hour or two. My office, which sounds official as fuck. We have all the hardwood floor down. So this one's finished up. And I really want to figure out how we can get up in there. Let me try to figure it out real quick. All right, we borrowed a ladder. See, there's this thing here. We got to figure out how to take off the screws. I broke it. So I think we can get on top now. I'm up in there. Whew. Now I have to figure out how to get through this. <laughs> It's so tight right here. Yo. I got on the roof. <laughs> Look. I had to destroy this thing. Grab that fish so I can throw it at Stefan when he pulls up. <laughs> it's smelling. Are you my DoorDash? Yeah. Right. Oh my God, it smells so bad. This looks so sick. Stefan's pulling up now. What the fuck is that? <laughs> There's no way that's a fish. <laughs> I thought it was a squirrel. I thought a squirrel jumped off the roof. <laughs> oh my god. Feeling that it's gone.